Well, as the Buddhists say, if you meet the Buddha on the road to the, the road to enlightenment, kill him. You're obviously going to have to cure yourself. I'm afraid. Yeah. Oh, and a rock. Excellent. I should we should I be worried that we appear to be making our shelter out of boom boom tree? Yes, they do. Um, in fact, it's utterly, utterly terrible. Growing up as I did in a rural environment, you know, sometimes you couldn't sleep for the sound of the trees exploding. You know, it's quite scary, to be honest with you. Oh, two more logs. Well... I won't say I'm playing it well, but I'm going to hope to play not, not to play it too stupidly. Now, if I can meet that target, we're doing all right. And not being Arnie, I'm not going to try and picking up that other log. Let's just get this one done. And then we got... All we need to do is pick up that one log, and we have our shelter fixed. Which is going to be a good start, really, isn't it? So... Shelter. Stone. Let's get that last log done while we still have some uh, light and facts. While I'm thinking about it. So quick that torch. There we go. Turn it off for now because we don't need it, but it's there if we if we ever want to use it now. Uh, here we go. I was worried it was going to run off. My friend Loggy. Charlie Brown has rocks. Somehow get the feeling I don't want to know. Alright, okay. Um, oh, we're starving. That's not good. Now let's give us a bit of uh, food. And let's go back to the book. We've done that. And let's make a fire. I don't think we've got enough stuff for it. No, we've got... <laughs> oh, yes, we have, actually. And we have a nice fire. And I'm probably going to totally regret doing that, but... No, I don't. What's that? Oh, it's that log. Okay. Turn that out just in case. And sleep the night. Hmm, actually, Sapphire, that's not a bad idea. Okay. Alright, I added some leaves to the fire. Okay. Right. Today, we need to find something to eat. That would do nicely if I could pick the thing up. Uh, obviously... Okay, I'm going to assume it's the fact that... Uh, that. No. Right, I can kill the birds. But... Can't eat the birds. How is the crazy tiara girl? Um, crazy. Okay, let's find ourselves something to eat. So, I think what we're going to be wanting to do here is looking for things like bushes and slow-moving rabbits. A branch of clucking good chicken would be good. Let's see what we can do. What's that? That's a bit of rock. Uh, the good thing here is it actually shows where home is on the map. Oh dear. Does that look like a camp to you guys? Because that looks like a camp to me. 
Oh, let's not go through the water, let's go around. And in fact, I think what we're going to want to do is go into the forest a little bit and work our way in through the forest. Ooh, dinner. Yay. Lizard skin collected? Where's the lizard skin? Marigolds, seeds, using gardens to grow plants, some feathers, raw lizard, lizard skin, increases armor. Left click to wear. Hey, hey, hey. Um, ha happy new year, Mega Razor 25. Are you off? Um, which, but thank you anyway. Oh, look at that. Latest in survival is chic. Uh -huh. Alright, so we've got some rabbit skin and rabbit's food out of that, by the looks of it. There so we got that, that. Some leaves, cloth, cloth. Maybe they could be combined with things. I swear we picked a rabbit skin off of it. But I'm not seeing it. Yep, you can wear lizard skin for armor. And that is looking even more like a camp now. So, Covered in blood. Wash it off to avoid infection. That sounds like good advice. There we go. Yep, yeah, our skin looks clean again now. Yeah, I thought I saw another one of them. Oh. Not going to argue with that. And we have another one. Increases armor. It does indeed. And now we've got one for each arm. Aren't we fashionable? Hmm, <laughs> actually I could use a bit of a bear grill. That sounds quite tasty actually. I don't know what you're talking about, I started doing that weeks ago. It's the only way I can cope with Christmas. Honey! Right, let's have a look down here, because that is actually starting to worry me. Oh! It actually looks like somebody got here first. Start a collection, shall we? Okay. Don't know what we're going to do with all this stuff, but I saw you stealing that. I've got your bank to right. You don't have a leg to stand on. A resource is that scarce outside of London. I don't know what you're talking about. So I've read the Times. I don't think there is actually something outside of London. What do we have here? Okay, that probably wasn't a good thing to eat. Yep, that's actually cost us hit points. And those look exactly the same, so we won't bother planting, uh, eating those. These ones? They look like olives, they've got to be good. But they weren't. Okay, uh, actually we're almost out of food, so let's grab one of these survival bars. There we go. Okay, you know, if I ever... If I ever produce an album, that is going to be the name of at least one, one song in it. My dog is trying to steal my cheese doodle. 
Have I played Skyrim? I've played a bit of Skyrim. I killed two dragons in it. And for some reason, I think I was in the process of moving house. Just got bored with it at that point. Ooh. Well, that is in no way ominous. Or blood soaked. Can I destroy this for logs? No, I can't. What is this apart from very, very loud options? Music volume. I swore I turned that down earlier on. Okay, that's good, because that was starting to hurt. Right. Okay, soda. Looks like we can't pick up anything light to read. Free cash! Great, there's going to be a shop somewhere! Hey! <laughs> Right, okay, uh... Well that has just seriously disturbed me to be totally honest with you. But I think what we want to do here is get back to base and make that fire. Yeah, you're not the only one. I'm fully expecting us to be attacked because of that, so actually one of the things I want to build is that effigy that we were talking about. See if it does actually scare them off a bit. So let's do that. And I think given the location of our base, we're gonna have to see if we can get a fishing rod. Yeah, cash, wonderful. So guys, what are you thinking of this? <laughs> uh, the original Silent Green was a book by, or well, a short story by Harry Harrison called Make Room, Make Room. And I won't say it was better than the film, but it was uh, different to the film, but the concept was pretty damn good. And the whole idea basically was the point that the, the world was overpopulated to the point where... Did that give me leaves? Yeah, that gave me a leaf. Excellent. The, the, the world was overpopulated to the point where the only way for us to make room for people was to actually eat our elderly. And you know, speaking as someone who's now firmly in middle age, that's, that's the concept I think is absolutely terrible idea. We should be eating teenagers. Ugh. Okay, uh, am I walking slower? Can I? Oh, we can run. Excellent. And that soaks up our energy and our hunger, so I don't want to do too much of that. Give me any leaves. Two leaves collected. Excellent. I need leaves for the fire. I don't know if anyone ever, uh, uh, well, I, you guys ever watch the uh, the Judge Dredd movie or read the, the much better 2000 AD complex, uh, comics? They had that concept in there as well. Uh, dead people recycled into food which was given to the poor. <laughs> yeah, I tell you what, I'm 100% fat and gristle. You wouldn't want me. You wouldn't want me. Okay, right. What's left of our fire? Yep, oh, can't even make charcoal out of it. Okay, let's make a fire. Like that. 
One fire. Excellent. Okay, so. Okay, so. I seem to have made two fires there when I could have just relit the other one. Alright. Never mind. Let's, let's, let's make the two fires. See how confused it gets. Alright, okay. So let's take the rabbit. And can we cook the rabbit? Yes, we can. We put that on the fire and see how long it takes to cook. And we'll try to cook the lizard as well. Mm, well, fat is tasty. It's what gives the taste to, to, uh, to the meat, but... Uh, eat that. And that's us comfortably fed. And we've got an iguana for tomorrow by the looks of it. Yep. We've got two raw lizards for tomorrow. That's good. We've got seeds for planting in a fire. There's a dead bird on our, th or what's it? Okay, effigy, that's what I wanted to make. Uh, oh, I see, the lights, the fire attracts birds, does it? Okay. Right, let's make an effigy. Book. Um, effigies. Simple effigy, small effigy. Like this. That'll do. <laughs> okay. So we need three more heads and four more sticks. What's the time? Right. I think we've got time to pop into the forest to get some sticks at the very least. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's, it's wonderful art, isn't it? Absolutely wonderful. I remember as a child, this time of year, they started doing the Hogsmeade th Hogsmeade things, and quite frankly, just added another terror to the whole New Year's celebration thing. So. Uh, And looking back at it, the entire program seemed to be, well, this is what the Scots do around this time of year. Aren't they quaint and interesting? Let's have a rock. I just used up a load of those. I was thinking, why well, wasn't that highlighting it? It's because it was lazy. Well, that was a wasted opportunity. Stick. Stick. Rock stick. Leaves. Yep, yeah, excellent. I think it's going to be a case you can never have too many leaves. Especially seeing as I've accidentally built two fires in the same place.
Oh. While I'm not arguing with you. Oh, I think we've got all the rocks we can eat. Uh, while I'm not arguing with you about Times Square, there's uh, every country has a place for t to to gather in on New Year's Eve. Trafalgar Square, I think it's Trafalgar Square in London here. Um, the village I'm in, I live in is going to have a party in the centre of the place and uh, it's just a good excuse to stay out of it to be honest with you. I'm say a grumpy old man. Uh, stick, oh I've got enough sticks. Am I going to get stuck here? Most probably. Am I committed to going forwards? Yes! Oh, cry! Oh, man! Hmm, wasn't expecting that. If you've just turned 30, you're too young to remember Logan's run. Right. What's the time like? It's getting late, so it's probably a good thing we're heading back. Two, three, four. And it looks like we don't have enough heads to finish this one off. Nope. We'll have to do something about that. It's the only way to get ahead. Okay, so we can save here. In fact, let's do that. Let's save. Yeah, I know it's a bit old, Grandad, but we've got this thing called a DVD. A DVD, which you can go and watch stuff on. Yes, thank you, dear. Very kind of you. Let's get that fire lit. Okay, so let's have a quick look at what we've got. And then let's have a quick look at the book. And let's ignore all the insults in the chat. Mm. And let's decide what we're going to do today. And by the looks of it, we're going to eat lizard and have a party. Yeah, hey. Right. Cash, medicine, restore health. We've taken 2,791 steps. Combine. Oh, I see. You can move stuff into the middle, and we can craft. This is basically a crafting bench. Tooth can be used in crafting. Rocks, fires, soda for energy. Circuit balls for crafting. It'll be interesting to see what we can use those for. Maribold, we can just combine. It doesn't say what it does. Okay, right. Let's have a look at the book. Main index. Okay, so we've done the basics of survival, which is basically just these three pages here. So we've made a shelter, we've made a fire, and we've managed to poison ourselves repeatedly. 